welcome back to my channel it's baby shower popping in again with another video today i'm gonna be filming for you guys my crystal collection it has been highly requested by so many of you guys it took me a while to decide about how i wanted to film this video just because there are like different properties of each and i have a lot some of them i've collected them since i was young and i never knew that they were crystals i never knew that like i was so drawn to them but my mom used to take me to the crystal store when i was younger and she would just like let me pick out a whole bunch of like tumbled rocks and stuff they were always under my bed and that isn't that crazy i don't know if other people do it but i sleep with crystals under my pillow but i used to have like these drawers under my bed and i used to keep my crystals under there so you know what i wonder if those worked i do have quite a few i keep them all in my cow this is boo boo so he looks like this i made him at like a pottery place like he has like two little hearts on his butt and a heart over here and i keep all my crystals in here crazy thing is i actually have like a mini version of boo boo so here's the mini boo boo look at him he's so cute isn't he so adorable he's he lost an arm by the way but he's made of glass so i mean that was kind of expected i already know in the comments there's gonna be questions about where i got my crystals and i've already filmed a video on that so if you guys want to check it out you guys can click the i somewhere up here i always get it wrong um i think it's on this side we are gonna start off with my bigger crystals we need to get those out of the way so that we can get to the little ones in here so i have this amethyst right here it's like a prism it looks like this when i got it i was like obsessed with like amethyst at that point i got this one in california when i went to go see joseph this summer and we went to some crystal shops i love amethyst it's probably one of my favorite crystals this is like a very basic crystal i feel like almost every single person has amethyst i got a big version of this and when i meditate i like holding something that's kind of bulky and heavy so i also have this raw amethyst as well it's like a point i think i got this one at divine time so i also have this really 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 little one right here and this is the one that i carry with me everywhere it's always good to have a variety of sizes when it comes to crystals I like having a little one of all my favorite crystals just so that I can carry them with me And like I would rather lose a little one than like, you know, a big prism And then the next one is fairly new. I got it like a couple months ago People are probably gonna freak out about this one because it is so cute I have this butterfly this butterfly amethyst it is raw it's just like cut when i know i'm going like the right way in life i always see butterflies everywhere so this butterfly amethyst right here is from elation crystal healing and she has like such pretty pictures so some of the properties of amethyst is cleansing protection and inspiration it enhances intuition spirituality and meditation extremely protective and calms the mind and spirit okay we're gonna start off with like one of my favorites right here it's a big boy so this right here is a raw pyrite isn't it just so gorgeous so this is my pyrite and i actually got my mom's boyfriend one too but his is way bigger than mine and i used to have a smaller one as well when i bought this one in california i was with joseph and i happened to carry like my little mini pyrite so what it says here is it's a very protective stone that shields the wearer from negative energy of all kinds it blocks energy leaks and men's orc tear a stone of luck that will help attract abundance wealth and prosperity through creative manifestation and encouragement of dreams i generally use this or have it around me when i'm writing manifestations or when i'm journaling so we're gonna be talking about citrine i have a little prism right here i forgot where i got this one from i also have this raw citrine i actually have two pieces i also have this like citrine necklace pendant and i usually put this on a chain and i'll wear it and then i also got another one right here and when i went to crystal rock healing sometimes they have like deals and stuff and when you purchase like they give you free crystals the one time that i was there they were actually giving out free citrines and i was like oh, that's like my favorite freaking crystal this stone helps increase confidence and clear mental blocks it enhances prosperity and intuition manifesting changes known to attract prosperity and success next up we're going to be talking about 
clear quartz here this was my first clear quartz and to be very honest i'm not sure if this one is glass there are some crystal shops that don't sell real crystals i do have this clear quartz and it looks completely different this one is like a raw clear quartz i also have this clear quartz necklace right here and it's giving me shark boy and lava girl ice princess vibes clear quartz is always just good to have it's literally 444 right now before we get into any more crystals i just want to thank dossier for sponsoring today's video and you guys know i've been working with dossier these past couple of months and it's because i love them and i've collected so many of their scents at this point you guys know that SZA song where she's like working on my or cleaning up working over time yeah that song i feel like scents are like kind of like you know an aura like when you walk into somewhere it always feels so good to get complimented about how good you smell those compliments hit different okay <sighs> no pun intended i just realized i freaking said that if you know you know this one is the gorman white flowers and this is actually a dupe for black opium so popular so popular i used to have it as well and i love the way it smelled this smells literally so identical to black opium it's freaking crazy so black opium actually runs from $78 to $162. Each scent is $29. I have so many favorite scents from Dossier, including like Aquatic Coconut and Citrus Green Apple. I still use those. I still use those. So you guys can try these scents without actually committing to them. Every single Dossier perfume comes with a little tester that you can try out before you decide that you want the big bottle here. And if you don't end up liking the scent, you can just send it back. They have a 30 day return period. So you can send back an unsealed bottle and they will give you a refund, no questions asked. They were sold out of this for a fat minute. So you know what? I think other people also found out, okay? They found out that this is $29 and they would rather pay $29 compared to $78 to $162 for the YSL one. Y'all can't tell me that isn't a deal. By the way, I never mentioned this in my other videos where I was sponsored by Dossier, but these are all 50 milliliters or 1.7 fluid ounces. If you guys want to check out Dossier, make sure you guys hit that first link in the description bar. It will always be right there for you guys. And you guys can use my discount code Code, which is baby shark 10 to save 10% off so check it out this you guys saw that I was like holding this long piece of selenite this is how my selenite looks like it's like a rectangle and it looks like this and what I do is I set it flat and I put all of my crystals on it to cleanse my crystals do not wash selenite in water it will dissolve so I'm just gonna show you guys some of my fluorite I have this big one at first I was very confused what this crystal was a lot of us thought that it was amethyst but I'm pretty sure this is fluorite I got this one when I was younger when my mom actually took me to go crystal shopping when I was younger so I've always had it she also used to have a friend who made pendants and i'm pretty sure this one is a fluorite as well but look how pretty this is i also have this green fluorite right here as well so next up we have is rose quartz and everybody knows that this is like the universal love crystal i also have several like tumbled ones right here i did not know i had that many but apparently i have five next up we have is libyan desert glass and this is a little dangerous buddy let me just tell y'all and it's really little okay this was quite expensive for how little it was i'm pretty sure libyan desert glass is actually a tektite just like moldavite and a lot of people use libyan desert glass and moldavite together but i personally don't think i'm ready for moldavite like at all and i don't think i'm ever going to get moldavite because it's so scary but i do have libyan desert glass and I do carry it with me a lot. It uncovers your healing light, recognized as a powerful manifestation tool and highly protective. A transformation stone that connects with the solar plexus, sacral, and third eye chakra to strengthen willpower. It brings on a rebirthing and revitalizes your true inner power. Right here, I have a malachite, a tumbled malachite, actually. 
This is one of my favorite also, which is carnelian. I actually have a bracelet as well, but it's downstairs right now. This one I find just always brings me joy. I just love looking at it because it's so like intriguing. So next up we have blue lace agate and you guys can see like the lines in that. So this one is so cool. It is like almost like transparent. This one is just so pretty and I love the color of this one. And this one is honey calcite. This one is aquamarine. Wow, this one is gorgeous on camera too. This crystal has saved me from a lot of things. This is black tourmaline and it is a very protective stone. So if you guys are ever scared and you guys go anywhere, definitely recommend getting one of these. I also have some smoky quartz right here. And I actually was gonna buy a big one when I went to California and I actually bought the butterfly amethyst instead and she gave me a freebie and it was a smoky quartz. So I'm really glad that I didn't get that big one. This right here is blue calcite. Isn't it so pretty? This one right here is orange calcite. To be honest, I'm not sure what this one is, but it feels like fluorite, a green fluorite. Not sure, to be very honest. I forgot where I got this from. This right here is howlite. This one right here is Jade. Here we have an opal. This one is just, it's so pretty, it's gorgeous. So here's the rest of them and I don't happen to know some of their names, but some of these I've had for so long. Anyways, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I end up buying any more crystals, I'll let you guys know throughout my vlogs and stuff. If you guys loved this video, make sure you guys give this video a like down below and leave a comment. Which one was your favorite crystal? Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button right now. And if you guys want to check out any of my other videos, feel free to. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!